back in the garage again. And another year has passed. It's now 2019. And yep, that's that. So I've started working on the center again. It's been a while. When I have been working, it's been a little bit here and there after work. Yada yada. Let's get to the nitty gritty. So I've started working on, I guess this is like version four of the Sentra. I don't know exactly which version that you could call this. Uh, as far as the SR20 setup goes, this will be version two. And in general, this will be the most serious setup yet. So I have already started working on it a little bit. So we'll recap the work I've done thus far. Also, uh, I'm not sure how this is gonna sound. I do have the heater running in the background. So if you hear a constant like static noise, I do apologize. So, well, for the most part, it looks the same. Can't really tell. There's a different intercooler in there. Maybe now you can tell. So as you can see, I have a much nicer looking intercooler in there now. I got a Treadstone. Got the nice intercooler in there. As you can also tell, I have added some new bracing. I made a new uh, intercooler support that kind of ties all into the new bracing I kind of added in there. Um, nothing crazy, I just know that but all these cars are really thin. Uh, I already got into kind of one little fender bender, so I just don't want to take any chances in case anything were to happen. Uh, any extra little bit of metal I can put in this car, uh, I'm sure will help. The metal on the strut towers where I welded all that in really isn't even that thick. So, I might have made a death trap. Might have made it a bunch safer. We will find out. Show it a little bit better here. Kind of ties in comes up here. I'll, I'll take the bumper off in a minute so you can see a little better. Goes into there and comes over here and ties up on the strut tower again. I uh, will be able to use the same routing on my intercooler piping there. Um, it is a wider intercooler. It's uh, I think like two or four inches wider than my old intercooler. So I am, I'm going to have to trim this side of the frame rail here and I'm probably just going to kind of notch it and weld it back up. No problem, not a big deal. Um, that about covers it uh, as far as actual work I've been doing on this thing. I'll pull the bumper off real quick so you guys can get a better look at the intercooler bar mount bash bar thing. Now, you can get a better idea of how it looks. Uh, really nothing too crazy, but I am happy. It's a lot better than the last one. Uh, basically all I did there was take a piece of straight steel bar and use this and this guy right here. You can see the wear spot and basically just use that to Bend it little by little, throw a radius in there. You can kind of see each little spot where I bent it. And yeah, that's what it came out with. And then down here for the tabs, I gotta weld these on a little bit more and I'm gonna throw an additional support kind of down in there. But, you can see I notched it a little bit to clear the outlets for the intercooler. And I had to throw a little bit of a bend in there to clear the angle of the end tanks. Here's the one on this side. Same, same. It is not resting on the radiator, lower radiator support. It's kind of just floating up in there. Yeah, that's uh, about all the like, welding and kind of building stuff I've been doing so far. Next, I will move on to 
the next part I've got. You can see here I have my new clutch. Um, previously I was running an XTD, which is kind of just like a eBay brand, uh, as you will. Um, stage 4, uh, sprung basically six, 6 puck like that one, but sprung. Um, this is now, would be considered a stage 5, unsprung, 6 puck disc. But uh, instead of going with the, the eBay brand again, I opted for spending a little bit more money and I went with a Clutch Masters. I guess kind of, there's mixed reviews on them. Kind of the same thing as XTD. Some people have luck with them, some people don't. So, as far as I'm concerned, as long as I have better luck with this than the XTD, I'm happy. Not that I've had bad luck with XTD. Recently, towards the end of the summer, um, I turned the boost up a little bit on this to like 10, 12 PSI, and I was getting clutch slip issues. Uh, like if I would do a launch, like a good solid launch, it would just slip bad going into second. Uh, it wouldn't spin the tires, it would spin the clutch. And kind of same goes for if I was doing a little pull on the highway, if I uh, was power shifting into fourth real hard, I would get some bad clutch slippage. So I'm just trying to uh, kind of step it up from there. I know this is gonna be like really aggressive for daily driving use. No longer my daily car, I don't really have to worry about kind of bringing it to work and stuff like that. Um, I'm only really gonna have to drive this when I want to. So not so worried about the street ability. Um, I am going to go ahead and get a brand new OEM clutch cable, new OEM throwout bearing, and I do already have the tranny saber bracket in here. As you can see here, there's the clutch bracket, and then that little bracket which goes over the tranny is the tranny saber piece. So, I guess. Uh, try my luck and see how that goes. All right, so I've covered the new intercooler setup, covered what my new clutch setup is gonna be, and kind of to top off the new um, setup as far as what's going on in the engine bay, uh, I am currently having a nice tubular turbo manifold made. Um, ditching the old log manifold I cobbled together here. It done me good, but it's time to upgrade. As you can see, I have had to go and repair this since I made it. Again, towards the end of the summer, it uh, it cracked. I wasn't super surprised, but it is what it is. So, like I said, I'm having a tubular manifold made. I'll throw a picture up of that now. That manifold is actually for uh, AC compatible cars. Obviously, I'm not running air conditioning, but I just figured I'd throw that in there. Um, that's why it's kind of in the location it is, but it also kind of works to my advantage for the exhaust setup I have going, because it's gonna make it pretty easy for me to kind of go with the same exhaust setup. Also, it's all equal length, and it's gonna flow a heck of a lot better than what I had going on here. So along with the clutch, the intercooler, and the manifold, um, I will also be upgrading my fuel setup. I currently have a eBay 255 liter per hour pump in the tank, and eBay, 550cc side feed, um, they're like the STI injectors everybody runs. Was having some issues towards the end of the summer. Certain days it would run incredibly lean, certain days it would run incredibly rich, rich. Um, and it wasn't even, like I said certain days, um, it would do it like on and off, like it, it'd do it for like half the drive and then it fix itself and it would be all fine and it would, it would do the opposite, sometimes it would be super rich sometimes it'd be super lean. So kind of thinking that I was having uh, an injector sticking. So um, to go along with the rest of the new setup, I will, I'm planning on getting, uh, probably gonna go 1000 cc top feed injectors, gonna get a top feed fuel rail, and gonna go with a, I believe it's the 320 liter per hour AEM pump, um, gonna go in the tank. That basically kind of sums up my plans for the new setup. So have plans to I'm gonna build a front track bar I'm getting some wheel hop um, when I do a launch so I want to eliminate that so I'm gonna build a front traction bar I also have plans to finally get the drums out of the rear and go caliper setup 
So, that about sums up all of my plans on the Sentra for 2019. Once all of that is done, I do plan on kind of, I'll probably throw together a quick tune. Um, that is one other thing. I have Niz tune in here currently. I'm probably gonna go ahead and grab Nismotronic. It has a lot more options for tuning. I feel like I'm kind of gonna get towards the maxing out what Niz tune is capable of, so um, I will need to probably upgrade my ECU setup. What I was gonna say is, once I have everything kind of in here, I'll probably throw a bass tune on it like I did, kind of get some miles in, break the clutch in, and then I am gonna have this uh, dyno tuned. Not sure by whom yet, but I am planning to get this dyno tuned for this summer. All right, so that's about gonna cover everything that I have to update on the Sentra for now. Subscribe if you're new. Stay tuned for more videos of the Sentra, and I'll see you guys next time.